Welcome to another episode of Rooftop Psychology, where we take your unconscious mind out of cruise control and throw your conscious mind in overdrive. Let's go ahead and call this the Pinocchio effect. Would you want a little bit of time to change your habits, change your lifestyle, change who you are and who you're going to be presented to to the world? Or would you be someone that's like, absolutely, I'm ready to do this today. And by the Pinocchio effect, I mean literally Pinocchio. If every time you told a lie and your nose grew, would you be worried? If every time you told a lie, would you tell a lie? Would that promote thinking a lot more before you speak? Would it promote a lot more self-transparency, understanding, meditation, thinking twice before you spoke once about anything you particularly said? Because, well, at the end of the day, you know you can't lie to yourself because, well, you are yourself. You know right or wrong. You know that gut check that comes into you. But telling a lie to someone else, someone else has to be able to verify that story. So some people are pretty good at manipulating and telling stories or lies, per se, when no one around them that they can verify. But what happens if we didn't need that? What would happen if politicians, media, your friends, your family, your spouse, even your kids could no longer tell a lie without their nose growing. Would this lead to a better society? Well, I would think so. It may lead to a quieter society. You may have that thing called wisdom come out a heck of a lot more than it does right now. People would be very deliberate in what they said and what they meant. Sometimes people will tell their truth. And even though it doesn't actually hold water, there's a difference between telling a lie and having ignorance. And just because you have a little more wisdom or knowledge in a particular circumstance doesn't mean that person's lying. I'm going to go ahead and take you down a scenario with a police officer simulation that they did with a news anchor. And he was dead set on the idea that, well, these police officers just aren't doing their job. They're not paying attention. They're lying under oath. So they asked him if he wanted to do a simulation. And there's psychology to back this up. What they did was they put this news anchor through a simulation where there was a certain amount of rounds of bullets. They entered into a warehouse. There was multiple rooms. And they had to defend themselves. And it took a few, four or five minutes to actually go through with this scenario. And at the end of it, they asked questions. The questions were, how many rounds did you fire? How many men were there? What color was the shirt in the second room? And it's incredible when you heard the responses. All the responses were wrong. The truth was not what was being said. And if this individual was swearing oath on a stand, they would appear to be lying. Now, in fact, they weren't lying. That was the recording of their conscious mind. That's what they actually believed actually happened. So they're not lying. And in that particular case, their nose wasn't growing. Would you need lie detector tests? No, you wouldn't. Would you need cameras in every particular situation? No. Would you need eyewitnesses? No. This Pinocchio effect would solve all witness stand crime. You could simply ask a question and get the truth immediately. Would you want to live in a world with a Pinocchio effect? Would you be okay being who you are today, knowing that when you walked out in public, or even in your own home, to your spouse, and they asked you a question about how your day was, that your nose would grow? How fast would your nose push you outside your own house, outside your own marriage, away from your own kids? It's sort of a scary thought. I believe the world would be a much better place if the Pinocchio effect was actually real. There was a real consequence in real time to telling a lie. Now we can kind of justify ourselves in the white lies, this being Santa Claus, the Easter Bunny. Are these good things? Is this psychologically damaging? That's up for debate. But if your kids asked you, 
at a particular age, is Santa Claus real? Would you be willing to lie or would you be willing to tell the truth if the truth was on your side of your nose not growing? Well, maybe that's the mind of age of accountability versus the age of innocence. Maybe in a moment of age of innocence, white lies aren't detrimental. They're not psychologically damaging for the rest of your life. But maybe once you reach the age of accountability, maybe that's when the lying should end. That's kind of my take on the Pinocchio effect. It's a really short episode today. The idea of lying is infectious. It is damaging to everybody involved. Why do we do it so easily? Is it because we can't, help, we can't be held accountable by our growing nose? I'm going to leave you with that thought. Would you be okay waking up tomorrow, going to work, telling your spouse how your day was, if they knew if you were telling the truth by your nose growing? Hope you enjoyed that quick episode. I will see you on the next one.